Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals! And for this very special episode, we will be featuring the LEGO Custom Jurassic World CX Macrorem. But before we head on with this video, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be able to support my channel. Please do not skip on all the ads on all my videos. The guest SPC contest winners will be announced later on in the video, but first, let's move on with the making of the CX Macrorem. So here we have made several adjustments to the uh, overall uh, base figure which is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I also use Indominus Rex arms here and uh, made certain, you know, um, in inclusions such as those spikes on the back. Now after several um, uh, sculpting adjustments to the head, this is how it looks like so far. Once it's dry, we head on with the uh, painting including of course primary. I use here a uh, number 68 primer for Bosni in gray. And now it's time for us to already paint on this one. And uh, we have here a few materials, we have your acrylics, a paintbrush, and also some water. And also we have a few photos here of the CS Macrorum. So I'll be using the Mattel CS Macrorum. I think the uh, colors on this one is really fantastic. You can see the uh, clear contrast between the blues and also the oranges. So uh, we can now start with painting of course. So uh, here we have a mixture of Albert Sienna, some red, and a little bit of yellow. I added in a little bit of white so that it won't turn out very dark. So we paint this on every uh, every corner, every every inch of this particular uh, figure, including the insides of the mouth, of course, and the tail, the body, the head, the neck, and even the extremities. did two uh, layers on this one so that we have an even coat and after that has been dried we added a bit more white to the current color and then uh, painted them on the areas where uh, lighter color should be such as the um, lower jaw the um, lower neck as well as the underside or the um, uh, underbelly of this particular dinosaur now we mix here a uh, gray color with a little bit of uh, yellow ochre and then paint them, uh, paint them on areas where the stripes would be uh, located such as the thighs I also included some of that of the legs also and of course the tail. Did you know that the sea yets is an extinct genus of large neo dinosaur known from the late Cretaceous Cedar Mountain Formation of Utah, United States. It contains a single species of Cx Macrorum and it is actually confirmed that it was a youngster. So uh, probably the Cx would grow up to uh, 12, uh, 12 meters in length. So that's actually rivaling that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this one I'm making an adult one, so it's definitely larger than your uh, ordinary CX, which is a young CX. CX represents one of the largest known theropods from North America. Using other Megaroptoran taxa as a proxy, it is estimated that it could grow up to a length of a holotype individual at 11.9 meters or 39 feet long, scaling upwards from the femur.
And now let's add some more details. So including this would be um, certain scales on the on the feet, and the legs, and then later on we'll be also painting the blue parts on this one, which will actually bring out the colors and also the contrast on the CS Micro Rim. Alright, so this is just a mixture of blue and a little bit of black and then we're painting it on the uh, areas where uh, the blue sections will go of course. Uh, this would include the neck, uh, some parts of the face, the back, and also uh, some parts of the tail also. Sirius was first described and named by Lindsay Zano and Peter Makovicki in 2013. The generic name is this, uh, actually derived from the name of Siyets, a man-eating monster in Ute mythology. The specific name, uh, Mikrorum, actually honors the late geologist John Calvo Meeker. In the metal toy line, Siyet is uh, part of the Massive Biters assortment of uh, Primal Attack line in 2020. This is the very first time that it has ever appeared in a Jurassic Park toy set and in the franchise as a whole. The color of the Siyet is actually taken from one of the concept arts of the Malosaurus, the early version of the Indominus Rex. That's one thing for you guys! After the blue coloration, I think this is almost done with just few um, details to include such as colorations of the teeth, the eyes, and also the nails. And that's about it for our the making of the CS Micro Room. I hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit something also from our uh, short video. 
And now, let us move on with the announcements of our Guess is PC Contest winners and we have 10 lucky picks for this time. Timo Mado, Santiago Sands, then Amazonas Imperius, Super Goji, PA Guy, Shapeshifter, Mander Games, Yes McRodom Second King, Victor Gabriel, and Toxila. Congratulations everyone! And now for our top 10 winners! Top Jurassic Bricks! Sarah PKT Mr. KTO Top 7 Gun Hermy Medos Top 6 Mr. T-Rex Kaju Studios G2K Aiden Stevenson Foxy Bricks Duo Khan Holton Khan Congratulations everyone And I'll see you on our next This is PC Contest For those of you who'd like to join, here's how Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and it will lead you to the Extinct Bricks homepage In the homepage, just click on the community link and it will lead you to all my posts I'll see you there everyone and now for my favorite portion of this video, assemble bricks. So let's count up the number of uh, parts here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 parts all in all. Let's start by connecting the hands to the arms. So we have the right and the left one. And now let's pick up the head and let's connect the lower jaw. Let's connect this to the body. Let's connect the um, left arm, the right arm, the right leg, the right, the left, and of course the tail. And there you have it. Power Jurassic World Mattel CS Macaroon in Lego style. Now let's move on to the closer look of the CX. So we have here the CX on its uh, enclosure. It's very lush and it's time for feeding. <laughs> so we have here our custom goat for the CX. And with that also, EB here <laughs> is uh, feeding the CX and operating the crane. So it's actually uh, based off from the metal CX as you can see here from the side. With the same colors and also same markings. Of course, our um, mainstay minifigure here, uh, Evie, is really excited to be presenting this, but he'll be coming back later for some size comparisons. So for now, uh, since we have our CX here, let's now move on with the actual closer look. So for the closer look at the CX, you can see here definitely some resemblance from that of the Mattel toy. Uh, it has a, a, a narrower uh, head to it, so I made several adjustments to that. I made the um, body also a little bit thinner, and the legs are also thinner as well. Among the adjustments also that were done is that I also shortened the arm length and also created this uh, underbite <laughs> for the CX because that's one of the characteristics of the toy uh, that is, uh, you know, very um, characteristic of uh, this particular dinosaur. Of course, there are spikes on the back and also the coloration and also the markings are likewise somehow uh, inspired by the toy itself. So as per articulation, this CX is pretty much similar to most of my large theropods. It can open and close its mouth and uh, yeah, open to this much and close. It can also turn its head like so, 360 degrees, look up and look down as well. The playability and posability is really quite good uh, compared to the regular T-Rex that we have for LEGO but Nonetheless, all of our both toys are actually really good. 
Okay, so it can also um, move its arms and its legs. Very much similar to that of the Indominus Rex. And that's about it for our closer look on the CS Microrum. I hope you guys liked it. Okay, so let's move on with the next portion of this video. It's time for us to have the size comparisons. And of course, for the size comparisons, I'm bringing back here Eevee. Yeah, he's really scared of the, <laughs> oops, the CS Microrum. And uh, he was not actually expecting a CS that uh, is actually as big as this one. So according to the um, CX Macaroon uh, in this photo, which is an adult CX Macaroon, it's just about the right size. Okay, so let's move on with some of the comparisons. So let's compare it with uh, first, I guess, with another carnivore. This is the Torbosaurus. Now this uh, extinct re recreation of the Torbosaurus is actually from that particular series which I, uh, I really like. This series is actually called Dinosaur Revolution and it's actually one of the more colorful uh, dinosaur series that I've seen so far. The coloration and the speckling on all the dinosaurs are really fantastic. So I might also do another one of these uh, from that particular series very very soon. So um, please watch out for that guys. Okay, so let's move on to the next comparison. We have the Extinct Bricks Allosaurus. This is the version 2 which is the uh, Allosaurus from um, Battle of Big Rock. So we have here uh, several spikes on the uh, on the back. It's much, uh, I guess, larger than the first Allosaurus that I did. And it also has that particular horn on the head, which I call it red. Okay, so that's it for our uh, uh, Allosaurus. Let's now move on with another carnivore. This is the Dinosaurus. Now this dinosaur case is actually um, my second crocodilian uh, custom next to the sarcosuchus. I, I really like or enjoy uh, making these and I would be probably making another one so if you have suggestions for another crocodile, prehistoric of course, then please do comment down below. Alright, so let's have another comparison. We have our... Stingbricks Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this Tyrannosaurus Rex is actually from the The Lost World movie, uh, the Buck T-Rex. So this Buck T-Rex is really colorful. Uh, it uh, actually is mainly green with some yellow markings on the back. There are also stripings of uh, black on the legs as well as the back and also the head of this particular T-Rex. In terms of size, you can see that the T-Rex is much, much more bulkier than that of the CX. But in terms of length, I think they're almost the same size or the same length. Taking a look at both figures from a top view portion or perspective, you can see that the T-Rex is definitely longer than that of the CX. I could just imagine both creatures battling out each other. Who do you think would win? Are you team T-Rex or are you team CX? <laughs> well, let's have our uh, last comparison. This is the Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. So recently I just had or received um, a fan, um, I guess, present. And that is a, a Spinosaurus. So probably I'll make another one. Uh, I guess the same species, just a different version. So comparing both uh, the heads of the, uh, of course, the um, Spinosaurus and the CS, you can see that uh, there are some differences, although I think they're both the same yet. And that's it for the size comparisons on our CS. Here we have the species roll call on all these creatures. 
so for my Avatar series, you know now that I'm actually back in doing dinosaurs. So we have a few lined up uh, for this week. So we have of course carnivores, herbivores, uh, amphibians I guess, and even pterosaurs. So if you do have suggestions on what other uh, creatures you'd like to see next on Extinct Bricks, then just comment them down below. Also, Ibi here would just like to remind you guys that all of what you see here are actually included or can be seen in the Extinct Bricks playlist. Individual links for each species are also indicated down below in the description box, so check them out guys! And now for the species roll call, let's start with the Extinct Bricks Allosaurus version 2 or Battle at Big Rock. We have here Extinct Bricks Buck T Rex from The Lost World. Extinct Bricks Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. Extinct Bricks Dinosaurus. And Extinct Bricks Torvosaurus from Dinosaur Revolution. And of course, the start of the show here are CX Microrodon from Jurassic World. And that's it for the video on RCX Pagorum. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I do appreciate all the likes and all the support that you guys provided me during the past two weeks. And so I dedicate this particular video to you guys, my fans. And also a small shout out to CX Pagorum Second King. Before we end this, please support also our other channels, Ibisaw Universe and the Adventures of Moira and Usher. Please like their videos and support their channel by subscribing. And as we always would say here, let's inner dino break. Roar! Thanks everyone and bye!